You know, I've been a tour guide here in St. Augustine for 34 years. And one of the top questions that I get asked by my friends and other visitors here in St. Augustine is, where's a great place to eat? So we've decided to put together a list of our top five favorite restaurants here in St. Augustine. These may not match your top five, but we'd love to know what your favorite is and even what your favorite dish is. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video and we're gonna tell you our favorite breakfast spot down in the historic district. Breakfast is hard to find here in St. Augustine. Good breakfast anyway. Be sure to stick around to the end. Coming in at number five, We've got our slightly off the beaten path of St. George Street, Catch 27. Catch 27, I think, harnessed a great atmosphere with their outside courtyard. And ooh, you have to try that Menorcan seafood chowder. You know, I, I think that uh, chowder was great. I love the crab cakes there. And also check out the grilled mahi, one of my favorite fish to eat, mahi. Let's check out number four. The drunken horse. The drunken horse, I'd have to say. Through this cold weather, I've been searching for that really good cold night soup, and I found that French onion soup over at the drunken horse. You know, everything that I've tried there has been awesome. We had a visitor actually tell us in one of our Man on the Street interviews about the drunken horse, and we went to it and just absolutely loved everything there. French style restaurant, again, great outdoor seating. When you're coming to St. Augustine, make sure that you sit outdoors whenever possible. A lot of the restaurants, they don't necessarily have a great atmosphere inside, but those outdoor courtyards, absolutely fantastic. A great way to experience the city. Another fun thing about St. Augustine is you never know the residents that are actually living up above these restaurants that are down below. As our British came in and built the second floor stories, they did a wonderful job in creating that double atmosphere of restaurant style while your residential's apartments are right above right in the middle and right in the middle of town. Coming in at number three, the Florida Cracker Cafe. The Florida Cracker has been around for years, a family owned restaurant. Again, great outdoor seating, the honey daddle shrimp. So if you're not familiar with the daddle pepper, I put it on a heat level about like a habanero, but it's got a great sweet flavor to it. That's the local pepper here. Be sure to check out any dish that has a daddle pepper to it. Daddle pepper sauce, their fried shrimp is what they're known for. Yeah, their shrimp, but those grits that come with the shrimp. Oh those yeah, the grits cheese are grits. just as yeah. good. And don't forget the key lime pie. We haven't mentioned any desserts yet, but that key lime pie there at Florida Cracker, it is the best key lime pie in the town of St. Augustine. I would have to agree with that. And we're almost near the top. Sit upstairs when you go to this restaurant. Number two, the St. George restaurant. Another one of my favorites. We send visitors there all the time. Perfect view over the Castillo de San Marcos. Do you remember that first dish that we had there? I don't think that's one that I will ever forget. That was such a grand surprise to read lobster corn dog on a menu with daddle guava ketchup. And let me say, their mustard also pairing with that lobster corn dog, nothing like it in this town so far. We still talk about the sauce that went into the dish. When a restaurant is making their own dressings and making their own sauces for all of their dishes, you know you're at a quality spot. One thing that I've tried to recreate from that menu was that asparagus salad. I absolutely love that salad. It was fantastic. They have a lot of vegetarian choices there. I think it's a great atmosphere. Again, sitting outside on the balcony, overlooking the fort and overlooking the water. You can't beat it. With that menu though, it's quite important to pay attention because they are such a seasonal menu. And also lunch and dinner menu is also quite different. Be sure to check their hours. A lot of the restaurants are closed one or two days a week generally on the slower days, sometimes Monday or Tuesday or Tuesday and Wednesday. So be sure to check that, but also check the website for their current menus. Now they have a seasonal menu, so not everything is available all the time. And I don't know if you eat like this, but I eat it to where I save the best for last. Our, Our number, number one, one favorite, favorite is, is Michael's, Michael's Tasting, Tasting Room. Room. Michael's Tasting Room has a Puerto Rican theme to the menu. Absolutely fabulous. The Spanish mushrooms, one of my favorite dishes but that mofongo, oh my goodness. If you haven't tried mofongo, they take the tostones and they crush them up, smash them, and then fry them. Oh, so flavorful. You can add chicken, 
shrimp or even uh, beef tips to it, absolutely to die for. My mom's favorite dish there, the tuna tartare. Fantastic. They've also got the mushroom option for that mafungo. And let me tell you, if you've ever had mafungo in Puerto Rico, this is probably the closest you can get without being in Puerto Rico to that mafungo. Yeah, Chef and, Michael absolutely nailed the flavor on that dish. And with locally sourced mushrooms at our favorite restaurant here at Michael's, you can't beat that support of the locals around. It's truly a farm to table restaurant. We know the farmer that he gets his mushrooms from. Can't beat the flavor, can't beat the freshness. Check out Michael's tasting room. Well, with closing that out, we saved oh. the breakfast place. Because if you know anything about St. Augustine here is it's a decently late starting town. So it's pretty hard to find a good breakfast spot. A lot of the places just open up whenever they feel like it, it seems. So breakfast is a little bit harder to find down in the historic district. This one, you wanna get off the beaten path and get over to Hippolyta Street and check out Schmegel's Bagels. It is our favorite breakfast down in the historic district. They've been in business for 34 years, same family running it, fresh bagels made every morning, but get there early because they will run out every single day. St. Augustine is a pretty late starting town, but not Schmegel's Bagels. They're in there at one in the morning, starting to get ready for their day for all of the visitors coming into their bagel shop. And let me tell you, they know how to sprinkle it with a little bit of extra love. So if you're looking to support those locals here in this wonderful town, you need a great bagel option and they have many bagel options. Check out Schmegel's Bagels. It'll start your day off right. You got a little bit of a sweet tooth. They have a cream cheese cinnamon muffin that is absolutely fabulous. That's only available on the weekends. And again, seasonal item may not be there all the time. Correct. Well, we had a ball getting to check out all of these great restaurants and what a treat it was to get to try all of this fabulous food. Be sure to plan your St. Augustine visit, but more importantly, be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what your favorite restaurant is and not only your favorite restaurant, but what your favorite dish is there. We'd love to go try it sometime. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in our next favorite five.